Hey there, Chad Bonger here for Ohio University Library. Several of my business students are currently researching various aspects of the healthcare market and healthcare industry in Southeast Ohio. So this video is going to demonstrate how to use Simply Map to get demographic information as well as health information for counties in Southeast Ohio. So some really good information to know as you're working on your feasibility analysis. So here you go. So when you first get to Simply Map, you have the opportunity here to create an account, and I would definitely recommend you do that because what you'll find is some of your searches in Simply Map will be pretty complicated, and it's nice that Simply Map actually, once you create an account, will actually save your searches for you. So uh, just create an account using your Ohio University login or, or, or email there, and uh, you'll get a confirmation email to log into Simply Map, and then you can do so um, uh, once you've created your account. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. If you've never logged into Simply Map before, uh, what you'll find is you have a map tab and a standard report tab. After you use it a couple of times and you, and you log in, it'll actually load your last save tab there, which is really nice. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to start off with just doing a standard report. So we're going to click on the standard report here, and we can do a couple different things. We can actually launch the standard report wizard. That's probably the easiest way to do this. Uh, let's do launch standard report wizard here, and we're going to do locations. And for my starting location, I'm going to do uh, counties, and I'm going to do Ohio, and we will do um, Athens County, Ohio here. And we'll click uh, use this location, and then we can click on variables here. Now what this has, it has all kinds of information here that can help your project on uh, understanding the health, health market in your particular area. Uh, you'll see there is a, a health care uh, section there, so if we click on health care. It gives us all kinds of variables here. We can do the 2010 geographies here. Uh, you keep clicking the drop down buttons here, and you'll see there's all kinds of stuff that talk about, you know, here's physical health, um, you know, percent of heart disease, percent of emphysema. So if you want to, you can click use this variable. And as you do that, it puts it into this location here. Okay, so here we have. Uh, types of heart disease or percent of all types of heart disease in Athens County, Ohio versus the USA. Now if we want to add more to that we can go over here and click variables again and just keep on using use this variable percent. I'm using percentage because we may want to compare Athens County to other counties and so for comparing it to larger counties by population we want to compare it to percentage wise not just sheer numbers there. So we can go in and just basically say let's just do uh, use this variable here uh, uh, use this variable here, and you can kind of see what we're what we're doing here. Uh, you can also go in and say, well, there's there's all kinds of stuff for health status, and um, there's all kinds of stuff for uh, smoking and alcohol use. Let's let's click on uh, that one there, and so we can say, uh, use this variable here. Uh, everyday smokers use this variable. Um, so let's say uh, uh, regular use of alcohol. Use this variable here. And you can kind of see as we do that, if we close this out, all those things we search for are in our list here. Okay. So then what we can do is actually go and add more locations. And let's say we wanted to compare Athens County to, um, let's do, there's Vinton. We can use this location. We can also go in and grab uh, Megs while we're at it, use this location. And once we close that, we can see it'll populate the same kind of data there with, um, with uh, the counties we just added. If we go back to variables, there's also a search feature within here. So if we click on search, this will allow you to go in and let's just search for doctor. Now a doctor is going to get you things like Dr. Scholl's foot care and stuff like that. So we have to be kind of careful with that. But if we do that and click search, um, here we see that there is stuff that says I always do what my doctor tells me to do okay and that's the percentage these are basically lifestyle statements so if we wanted to we can click on use this variable and that would go into our list as well uh, likewise since we see it's in the Simmons local lifestyle statements attitudes health and medicine we could go back here go back to variables and go to Simmons local there's the lifestyle statements there and here we have attitudes, opinions about health and uh, medicine. So we click there. All right. And there's all kinds of stuff in here that you might want to see. So these are like, agree, they basically give you agree or disagree statements here. So if we click on, for example, here, this gives you um, 
uh, things like actively seek info about diet, um, all kinds of stuff in here that you can you can look at that that may be that may help for you. Here we go. I only use drug brands recommended by a doctor. If you want to do that, you can click use this variable. So there's all kinds of stuff in here that you can grab, and then we close that out. And if we scroll down, let me X out of that there, you can see that the things we just added down there are are now available for us. So here we have the overall average in USA. I only use drug brands recommended by my doctor uh, is 21 percent and you can see in, uh, in the areas we're looking at that's actually a lot lower. Uh, here we have, but you can also see there's also um, a pretty good amount of trust in, in what the doctor says. So, uh, so that's how you create a standard or, or a list there. Now what we can also do is create a map. So if we want to go and go um, create a map, we can launch the map wizard and click on variables here. And a couple things you can do here we can go in and select it just like we did before, or we can go under click recent. And let's say we want to do, always want to do what my doctor tells me to do. Let's um, uh, use this variable. All right. And that's going to center on Harlan, Iowa, which Simply Map says is the, is the center of the country there. So what we can actually do is click on locations and then go back and do recent locations. And let's do. Um, Let's do uh, Athens County, Ohio, use this location. And then it's going to zero in on uh, Athens County, Ohio here once it loads. Okay. So you can see we're looking at actually zip codes within Athens County, Ohio. If we want to, we can zoom out and look at, look at the county level. Uh, that's just going to look at Athens County clearly. But if you, if you zoom out, you can see how it might compare with uh, other counties around the state here. So um, uh, under display options up here, you can actually, um, excuse me, under actions, you can actually save this map. Likewise, in the standard report under actions here, you can download the table as an Excel file, things like that. So a real powerful tool when you're looking at uh, analyzing your local market and understanding the, the health uh, of an area as well. So, uh, so there you go. Hopefully this video helped you better understand how to use Simply Map to understand your local market. Should you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog. I'll be glad to help you any way I can. Take care and have a great day.